to mention what I've already talked about. Um, so I'll begin from the bottom because some of the things I've already said it in the past. So I will not go over those things. I will begin with never turn your back on those with a genuine need in society. Never turn your back on members, loved ones with a genuine need. Anytime there is a pandemic, anytime there is a challenge and difficulties, when you look through the Bible history, you see that Believers who were well to do, they never turned their back on those in need. There was a response, immediate response of believers to those who were in genuine need of their support. And I'm going to show you from the Bible. So that should be our attitude. So number one, our attitude must be an attitude of not turning back on people who have a genuine need. A genuine need. A genuine need. Okay. Let's turn to Galatians chapter 2 verse 10 and let's just consider some background. Um, it was it was an important issue to the early apostles that anyone who had the call of God and is going about their duties, one thing they used to advise them, one thing they used to talk about is that they should consider the needy. They shouldn't turn their back on the poor. Because it was the Lord's own message that he gave to the, the apostles and the apostles, was, they were much concerned about it. Anything now called James sir. Was him in no one pie ball, men who are conchene, ye be bea ye be a biano, ye yenin in a ye nesse ye ninti mobro and ye mobro a ma a kunafu at the denfici only bea, or see ye yam summon our religion is not complete until we begin to show our faces, or until we begin to respond to the needy. Beloved, Christianity is not only praises. It's not only, only, only worship. It's not only casting of demons. Sometimes the demons we see as demons are not the real demons and demons, but they are a calm demons. A calm betimian will be behave as if the person is crazy. A calm ayah. A calm ayah. A calm neoda. Hallelujah. Oh, this message is a mumpe. And now my idea was so just a message you want to so. And my message was, "Young Galatians, chapter number two, verse ten." And whom I brought, young couple, he has some no no. the man so he whom his children are compassionate. One thing that identify a true believer is a compassionate heart. Let's go to Galatians quickly. Chapter 2. Or can you read it? Because you have a good reception over your uh, side. Uh, Galatians chapter 2. Chapter 2 verse 10. Verse 10. Yes. I read. This was a worth it was a welfare of the apostles to Paul when he was about to go for the missionary journey in, in Asia. And the last message they gave to Apostle Paul in Jerusalem is that they told him not to overlook the need of the needy, the poor. Remember, there will always be a poor people amongst us. But we have a duty towards them. We have a responsibility towards them. There are categories of poverty. Now, if you compare me to Mr. Nyame, I will be the poorest. He will be the richest. 
<laughs> when you compare me, say, I meet you to Begate, then we say, I will be the poorest, and Begate will be the richest man. You see, there are categories. Beloved, let's turn back to those who are behind us and see the need, what we can do to support them. But there are mysteries attached to it. One thing we should notice is that the support we give to the needy, the charity support we give to those who need our support, is not supposed to be in to give a support to somebody in Ghana and that thing will be in camera. Please don't do that. That thing that a lot of churches are doing is not biblical. It's not from God. Don't ever allow the worldly people to compel you. We don't do good because the worldly people are saying we should do. No. We are not moved by the social media. We are moved by the word. And now that you will be saying, I'm going to suffer to you one day. And one month, and one month, and one month. So you want to share the Bahira and the Mo because people are saying on social media, no. We victory, we believe that we have to support the needy, the poor, because the Bible says so. Not because they are saying, let them talk. They will talk all the time. And of course, you know, most Ghanaians, they talk what they don't know. So allow them. But those of us who know Jesus and understand his word, let us consider our brothers and sisters in UK, in America, in Ghana. It will surprise you that somebody near to you in London will need your support most. So look around. Look around. Look around. Sometimes I, I could see some of our sisters and brothers coming from shopping and you see that the shopping bag is too, too small because there's no money to do uh, enough shopping. What are we supposed to do? Okay, Galatians chapter 2, uh, verse 10. I'm very happy sharing this message with you. Very happy. Because Christianity is practical. Mm. Hallelujah. Galatians chapter number 2, verse 10. Repeat it again. But I was saying all the act is to continue, not, not from time to time. It should be the habit. It should be the lifestyle. Remember the topic. The lifestyle of believers, especially in times of need, especially COVID-19, lockdown time. That is where somebody may need our support most. So what na se emre pa awa Saudi Arabia do ye chemu a emre bi be dua wado ye be ka wonsam esu ni mfaso o e bi na si ya no Jesus Christ needed an oil and at the point it took a lady who was a prostitute to do that go to our Lord and the, the ladies who were supporting Christ even though they were supporting him but they missed the right time to do what he needed most after the resurrection, they sent the oil to the tomb. When they went there, Jesus wasn't there. Beloved, somebody is in the serious need now. 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 In Ghana. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Hallelujah. Amen. Uh, it's something that my wife and I have been enjoying doing that. We surprise people. <laughs> I was <say>, wow. <laughs> That is Christian life. It should be practical. Hallelujah. And Lord, we are Sunday. But yeah, in the name of the Lord, we bind devil. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, but you know, you die and not one year. But you didn't know. As soon as you saw, I read my mind. I see what I see me. Let's move to Romans chapter fifteen, verse twenty-five. There's another one there. Let's. Do good to all men. Amen. 
Let's do good to all men. There should not be discrimination. There should not be discrimination. If the person could be an, a Muslim, the person can be a Buddhist. The church must offer our support, especially first of all to the people of the faith and then beyond in times of difficulties like this. You don't wait until the government is supporting the public because the government alone cannot support the public unless the church responds to the call. Supporting the need is a call. It's a call. It's attached to apostolic calling. Will be our soya apostle be a little more dig your apostle, Papa. I'm telling you. Hey, all the biblical references, all the apostles were loving. They love people and they support people. That's who the apostle we said here me. We didn't want me to be. Hey, apostle, Papa. Romans 15. Mm. So what? See, Paul was on his way to Jerusalem with a special offering. When you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 16, is there. Corinthians, the church, oh, they raised a special donation offering from individual members and they added official letter for Paul to send it to Jerusalem because there was a serious problem at that time in Jerusalem so much that the church there was suffering and they saw the need of raising money because the church of Rome and the church in Corinth they were in the better shape of supporting those in Jerusalem and they gave the money to Paul and his team to send the money there. And Paul, he also had a need. Even though he was going there with a the support, but he also had a need. And so let's hear what he said. Mm -hmm. Go ahead, go ahead, my brother. Be bacho, bodi ni bi osu mana susu na e kontubu tu ye. Okay, you see. We always need godly leaders to lead the churches of God and inspire people to understand the word of the Lord and to put it into practice. Because Paul and others, they were very close to the Lord. They know the Lord. Not just because they wanted to become apostles and they became apostles. They had an encounter with the Lord Jesus Christ. They understood the Bible. And so they taught the church the principles of Christian life, how Christians are supposed to live their life in times like this. And because of that, it was an inspiration to all the churches. So when they saw that the Romans were raising funds to support the needy, they also raised the fund and they brought their contributions for them to support. I'm pleading with churches in America, watching me, churches in Italy, churches in, in, in England here, please, if, if, even if you don't have branches there, there are people who are in general need in Ghana. There are people who are in general need in our, in our localities. Let us look around and support. I've told you that Christianity is not all about casting of demons. But it is also feeding the hungry. Hi. I sense the power of the Lord. And later on, I will tell you the blessings that will follow. If you if you become obedient by helping somebody who is poorer 
than your situation. May the Lord bless victory missions. I really love you and love you because the way you do your things is very fantastic and unique. Victory Missions London has been doing so many charity work that they don't broadcast it. They don't put it on Facebook. Those who are doing those things on Facebook, I'm not condemning you, but I don't think it's biblical. You better stop it. When you are not going to tell me, you are not going to tell me. According to the book of Matthew, what says so when you are doing good, you don't, when you are doing good with your right hand, don't let the left see. Oh, it's in the Bible. If you can move Papa Yanua, and we are Sifuano, compelling a soft one that will gun us all way, and they should stop that. Now, let me tell you this. So we had charity in front of camera. One day you jeopardize the life of the one who is receiving that benefit. Especially a lady who received a house because she was brutalized by a policeman. Up to this time, nobody knows her situation. Now, Papa, you be betting my macron for at the table be a couple of two. Papa, yeah, 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 no, in front of camera. Any babu more, any more politicians, you know, no more, you must take any free dog. No, no, how you feel, how the battle take it off. She turn one more, come one more day, MP stick up. Dokuno MP sticker, Nanado sticker. We don't need it. Mahama sticker. Take it off in the name of Jesus. After all, the money is not for you. The money is their sweat, is their tax that they give it to you. So when is the time for them to need it? We pay it back into the system. We have no choice than to help our brothers and sisters. That is to say, the Papa and the Kosu Ghana, no, both church people and non church people must stop that. You are jeopardizing the, the lives of thousands of Ghanaians. Is it a stampede in sharing the food? It could have been done better. It could have been done better. I don't know why Africans, most of our leaders, most of the time they disappoint us, they don't put principles in place. Anybody who says social distancing, social distancing, I person will share food. Of which the food sharing wasn't necessary to me. It's not. Because we could have done it better than that. Now we share food. Now one must stampede out by food, you know. Now we go home. Then we go faster. By here and more. Now we go home. What you want? Hey, China, be cashier, go be so. Hey, hey. Minya, be oh. Oh, minya, be oh. Are they? Now, a brofui echa, they are showing it on Al Jazeera, laughing at blacks. Look at the way they are behaving. Please, we can do better than that. Politicians, please, I'm pleading with you with all the respect. The childishness politics in Ghana must stop. The childishness, the madness in our politics, it has to stop, and we must learn to do things appropriately. It's long overdue. Since the three years, country cannot continue to behave as if we are two years. It is very bad. Church, don't follow that. Don't. It's not biblical. Wobia or Becca say, Oyamwa, Modium, at least Mopa, for the sake of report, you can take pictures, but don't show it to the public. It is not necessary. Don't show it to the public. Because once you do that, you have already received your praise. When you are catching your only pen with that, that, oh, Jamie, oh, Shraso, oh, be your papa, not come ready, and you go home, and maybe you are, and you go home, and you go and you go home, and you see a bandy about the hair, your brand of matre, Muni, and Timmy, and what sort of nonsense is all this? Eh? And we, we think we are doing good. Please. It's not right. It's not right. It's not right. But maybe not saying ceremony. Now, the back of a police officer was crying. Oh, why am I? Oh, I'm being carried away. Sorry. Sorry, oh, madam. There was a police officer in Accra. 
One day he woke up and, and, and saw somebody doing a donation for her mother on social media. It was an embarrassment. Very embarrassment. And that police officer was exposed to the public as if he's an irresponsible man. Who knows that maybe he's been giving money to the mother on a monthly basis? Who knows? It? What sort of what sort of donation is uh, is our people doing in Ghana these days? We call it Ifushenumu donation. They want people to see that they are doing good. All the time, everything camera, everything social media, everything social media. Victory, don't follow that. We are serving our people by the word of the Lord. We are serving them. Whether they will say it for people to hear or not, our Lord will recognize our good and bless us. There is no need for us to go and broadcast what you are doing. Oh, victory. Victory misses. Uh, we are here. Oh. We are going to give rights to our people in Ghana. So, camera, follow us. No, we don't need that. Even if they fail to, to write a letter of thanksgiving, even if they don't do it, we don't matter. We, we don't care. Why? Because the God who sees it will bless us one day. Hallelujah. I am teaching you the word of the Lord. I want you to be a biblical believer. A biblical believer. Not a believer of social media. Not social media believer. But a biblical Christian. Who does things just as the Bible says. And then you see the glory of God. The power of the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The last one, I was supposed to talk about five, but I'll talk about two. The last one, I'll add to the first one I just said that it is the responsibility of the church not to turn back, not to turn back on the needy in society, especially when there is a serious situation in society. Church is part of a godly mandate to support the needy, and we shouldn't ignore it. I could have given you more passages to prove it, but for the sake of time. Now, another one that is very, 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 very important, equally important as giving, is words of encouragement. Now, providing counseling, motivation, and words of hope, words of encouragement through the gospel to the people is also another responsibility that God has placed on the church. In situations like this, people who can do it better are those who are close to God, those who know God, those who pray, those who read the Bible. We stand a better chance of giving encouragement to the hopeless. Bible says that Jesus Christ in you and I, the hope of glory. Somebody out there is discouraged. Do you know how many people I sit on phone to encourage since the coronavirus outbreak? I've been ministering to many people. I've been a blessing to many people across the globe. And we pray with people. Some of them are ministers, they cry on phone. They are in trouble. Beloved, apart from our donation, an encouragement. Let's read the Bible to confirm this. Now, in the in the process of giving counseling and verbal encouragement, please select your choice of words. Be careful of your choice of words because words have got power. Words have got power. Now, do you know that the Bible says that how beautiful it is for somebody to speak the right words at the right way, right time? Eh? Every word has got a time. I'm telling you, don't go and miss words. Very, very important. It's not time for you to condemn. The condemnation time is not now. The criticism time is not now. Now the COVID-19 has really pumped the whole world. 
I mean, people are go, getting crazy every day and night. Do you know that the lock, the lockdown itself is depressing people in their homes? <laughs> I'm telling you, people are becoming so depressed. Depressed! Especially the white people, they can't take it all. So if this thing travel beyond three months, people will commit suicide. So we got to appeal to the leaders to change the strategy. No, their strategy of dealing with the various lockdown in order to save souls. Now, let's go to Proverbs 15, verse 23. Proverbs chapter 15, verse 23. I'm proving all of this in from the biblical point of view. Counseling is very essential on top of the giving. And through that, you can share Jesus Christ with, with that fellow. If the fellow is not a Christian, you can share Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. Please make sure you share the video for us. Share the video. Share the video. It is very important for you to share the video. Proverbs chapter number 15 and verse 23. After this one, we will leave the rest and pray and pray for our brothers and sisters in Ghana. Pray for those who are, especially our brother um, Nana Papaya. Who knows what Papaya is going through? It will shock you. Yesterday I was talking to a lady. It will shock you to know that Abroche for Nakoka Ghana. The lockdown in Ghana. They need our support because all the pounds is gone. They don't have pounds with them. They can't, they feel sad to go and ask somebody. Have you thought about it? Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, God's word is so sweet. Proverbs chapter 15. And also we have to, we have to call our brother and the deacon in Manalasari. We have to find out what is happening to our senior brother. He may need your support financially. See, all of this is a ministry. So ministry has a lot. Ministry has a lot. And the bottom line is that everything we do about ministry is human-centered. <laughs> human-centered, I'm telling you. Okay, Proverbs chapter, am I teaching right? I want to know. If you are I can't hear you. Are you sleeping? <laughs> I have not heard from a fear. Maybe she's sleeping. Oh. Get into the down. <laughs> Proverbs 15, verse 23. Okay, read it. This particular season, all that people are expecting from you, nothing more, nothing less than way. And I've been encouraging our brothers who are on radio that this is not the time for you. to bring ministers who are fake, ministers who are not doing the right thing. No, even the fake, the supposed fake ministers can imagine that they are the very ones who are doing charity to those who are in need. And if you say you are the right person, you fear God, you are the good church, you are the good minister, Because we are not sitting on the judgment seat. It is God. We are only human. You can correct. 